All right, let's talk about let's talk about just some past concepts, and I want to start kind of with our two and three man snag. Two man, three man snag, and the reason I want to start start with this one because to me this is kind of built into just our quick game. All right, I'll talk about you know regular old ninety quick game at some other time. Um, I'm sure all you guys got you know that stuff everybody's been doing for a million years. All right, but this is just another. Another deal for us to run, you know, our quick game. It also ties, we can tag it to a lot of things. We can tag it to our screen game. We can tag it to our run game. We can tag it a lot of different places for us because the ball can come out so quickly, okay? So to start with, let's go, let's just start two-man snag, all right? So to talk about two-man snag, we've got to get to in this, into our free release by the back protections, all right? And I know you guys look at all this and I got all the, He's lined up here on, on this one, and here it's run, and here, you know what? It really doesn't matter, all right? You're playing so fast that the defense has got time, all right, to start making adjustments and making calls by him moving a yard or two or back or up, um, then that guy's a hell of a lot better coach than I am, okay? So I, I go back to the same thing. Get your guys in the right spot to do their job the best, okay? So protectionally, all right? So you've got to think about this, all right? Here we are. And this is just kind of a front that we've been working on all day, all right, through most of these looks. And maybe, maybe, maybe here in the new, new, near future we'll go through all these stuff again and we'll draw up three, four. And we'll do it all against Oki stuff, all right? But I just kind of want you guys to get the, just the gist of, of how we're doing things. Okay, but protectionally, all right, so now instead of being in, okay, we've got Ron and Lou in trio, okay, and Ram and Lion in, in three by one, Ram and Lion in two by two. Now we're gonna just be in R and L protection, what we call R and L. Like I said, words are words, all right? You can call this stuff any stuff, anything you want. It doesn't matter if we're in three by one or two by two, we're using R and L because it's our free release protection. Okay? And basically what it's telling the line is that they are ram and lion with a free release back. Okay? And now the backside tackle has to sift. That's what it tells them. So if you two were to look at this, so we're gonna go, hey, this is this is our protection, we're sending the line right. Okay, that means we're free release in the back to the left. Okay, that means they're four down, all right? It's Ram, all right, to the mic. He gets a alert call. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Well, that's not the mic, but they're basically working, all right, from the head of the center away from the back, okay? If they got some sort of a alert call from this right tackle, what would they say? East, right? We would just sort it this way because we want because the quarterback's hot's here. We want to protect his backside, okay? And if anybody comes free, he's got to come around six bodies out here to get to us, and that ball will be gone by then, okay? Now on this side, this tackle, all right? He's instead of through. If it was run, if we were running the football, he would be a through tackle. Now we we call him a sift tackle. Okay, but basically his rules are the exact same if we were running 912. Okay, he knows I've got the most dangerous of those two. All right, now obviously he won't just run in there, all right, like he would if this was zone and hold off the end. So he's going to sit on the end, okay, pass set the end. But if this guy was to come, he has got to sift it. So he's got to take the most dangerous of those two right there. That's our R and L protection. If this was a three technique, okay, and those guys felt the wheel way in here, getting ready to come, okay, just like they would make an under call if it was Zoro or, or 912 right here, okay, they would make a gap call. So they've got to protect the quarterback in the A gap and the B gap, okay, most dangerous, and they got the quarterback knows. The furthest guy out here, the third of the third of three is going to be my guy. So that's my trouble right there. Okay, that's my read. He's 
on the line of scrimmage. Okay? If he was here, that's my key. Okay? Alright, so that's that's the RNL protection. Okay, now what we're trying to do with the route, alright, is we've got this all picked up on this backside, alert east if I need to. Alright, we've got our sift tackle, block A gap, D gap. All right. A lot of times our back will even come up there just to remind those defense, those offensive linemen. You know, if this was Ron protection, he'd come. The, the back would step up and say, "Hey, you got one left, one left." Telling these two guys, "Hey, I'm back here. I got the will. Don't worry about him." He could step up here and say, "Hey, zero left, zero left." Meaning, "Hey, I don't have a will. I got nobody. You guys have to block most dangerous." Okay. What we're trying to do with the back is we're trying to out leverage the will as fast as we can. So his, his rule into the boundary is this, the back, is I, as I, at the snap, my eyes are on the will, or I'm feeling the will here, all right, and I'm going three steps as hard as I, as fast as I can towards the boundary, all right. Then I'm going to start myself downhill, all right, and my landmark is inside, outside edge of the numbers. Okay, so this route should look just like this. One, two, three, as hard as I can. Now start coming downhill to where you're outside the edge of the numbers. Okay, if I feel the wheel blitz, I'm yelling hot. So you are the hot swing. Okay, X, you're going to tighten your split just a little bit, all right? And you're taking an angle that's six yards deep in the B gap. So say it was right there. And when we work on this in our patent go, like we saw in practice, we'll put a cone right there or a bag right there, all right? So he can start to feel his angle, all right? So he wants to start at that angle, all right? And what he's going to do is, as soon as somebody crosses his face or I cross somebody's face, he's going to put his foot in the ground and give his eyes to the quarterback, okay? So you can see what we're trying to do here is all we're trying to do is play a two-man game on the wheel backer. We're trying to out-leverage him, all right? As soon as he crosses his face, you gotta sit. So this guy cannot be right. He can't cover both, all right? Corner, we'll talk about the corner later. This is the first thing they gotta learn, all right? We gotta put stretch on this wheel backer, all right? Quarterback, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take three quick, three quick step drop. All right, and when you hit that third step, all right, if your back has out leveraged that wheel backer, or and that could be he out leveraged him by alignment because this guy just stood there, or this guy blitzed, all right, as so by by your you go one two three. If this guy's out leveraged it, you got to deal the ball to the tee, all right. You got to throw the hot swing right now, okay. If that hasn't happened, all right. So it's straight for pure progression. There's number one in your progression, okay? Here's number two in your progression. Now, if that doesn't happen, you're gonna hitch, all right? And the only reason that hasn't happened is because the wheel ran out, okay? Now I'm gonna hitch and I'm gonna throw the snag route. Yeah. Okay. So that's the two-man snag. Now, you got to remember this because this is also going to come into play when we talk about three-man snag, the ability to make this read right there. Okay, the back side of snag, all right? The back side of, of just plain snag, if we haven't tagged this with something else, we can tag it with a key, we can tag it with, you know, a quick game, whatever we want. But if we're just going to go on pure, you know, a purist, if we're being a snag purist, okay? Backside, you know why is that you are the third look, okay? So you are not in a hurry, all right? So as you, as you run, you are coming inside and you are taking the same angle, six yards deep in the B gap, all right, that the X is taken on the other side, okay? And what you're looking at is you're looking at grass. So as you come in here, all right, and you feel you're in grass, you're just going to sit and give the quarterbacks your eyes and be patient because you're the third look. Okay, theoretically, to get to you, Will's got to go to the bottom, Will's got to go to the back, and Mike's got to come to the X, and then that would put you open. Okay, 
Now, if I sit in grass and the backer comes to me, any backer comes to me, all right, now I'm going to pivot away from him. Okay, and this is what usually happens. Because what usually happens over here, say the corner rolls down, the wheel sits inside, quarterback doesn't like either of them, all right, and you're going to come, you're going to sit, oh, you feel contact, you pull out, and we throw you the football right there. So you got to create your space, all right. Quarterback, it's important that he works his progression. He, even if he sees the corner rolling up, he can't just go to Y right now. He's got to go, he's got to go one, two, hitch, three, hitch to that throw. Okay, so that's just pure two-man snag. Okay, F, you've got either key, all right, you've got either post or Seattle route. Just game plan it over there. Okay, so if I get man coverage, all right, there's my shot. There's my alert to man coverage right there. All right? So this is your alert. Okay, this is number three. This is number four. All right? So it's a straight progression. One, two, three, four. Hey, you can alert this quarterback if you get man coverage. All right? That's two-man snag. Now, Whatever, whatever, whatever formation you want to, you can F quick to this, okay? F quick in, we can get ourselves in green and blue. So here it'd be out of green. Now your check, swing, okay, to that side, because we're in protection, because I don't want the hot to both sides over here, all right? So this is just our Exxon play, our two-man snag. All right, now let's go to three-man snag. Well, let me draw that one more time for you just so I, so I can show you. So here would be the call. Hey, here we go, trio right. Okay, trio, right, R, Exxon. Okay, trio right, trio right, here we go, R, 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 R. Hey, Exxon, Exxon, okay? That tells everybody double snag. Double snag, double snag, okay, Seattle or post, depending on your game plan. Okay, now let's add the third element to the two-man snag. Okay, we're in dual right. Let's say they set the three and the five in the back. We're just gonna stay in cover eight, because it's an easy one to draw this stuff against. All right, so now we're gonna go three man snag. All right, the protection is gonna be what? Dual, L, right? We gotta protect the quarterback's backside. He walks up, possible west call, because of the alert, okay? Quarterback, you know. All right, you're hot right there to those two guys, but we've got a free release back and we've got a snag to get you hot on, okay? Now, let's just say we're running this to the field. All right, your splits, when you run, when you run triple snag or three-man snag to the, to the field should be this, all right? The, the Y, the inside receiver, should be a yard outside the hash, I mean inside the hash. Okay, Z, you tighten your split, all right, and you're gonna take a little pause release on this. Okay, T, all right, you're a hot swing guy. Remember, it's L, so you're the hot swing. Remember this tackle, he's a Sith tackle. He's the alert tackle. Okay, so you guys gotta Sith this, block most dangerous. To the field, he runs it just like he does in the boundary, Except now he goes five steps right to the line of scrimmage as fast as he, I mean to the out of bounds, as fast as he can. So he's got five steps. Now he starts downhill and he's got the inside edge of the numbers to get to. Because he's trying to do the same thing that the two men that he did on the weak side. He is trying to outflank the linebackers as quickly as he can. Okay, so just out leverage him. 
So he's, he's got to be opened up. Same thing, if he feels the backer coming, give me a hot call, because he's the hot swing. If not, it's five steps, as fast as you can. Now start downhill. If I catch this ball, I should be catching almost a line of scrimmage. Okay? Z, now you've got, all right, you're the two-man snag to the three-man side. Okay? So you're doing just like the X did in trio. Okay? The only difference is we got to buy a little time for this guy to out-leverage people. So you're just going to kind of pop in place, and now you set the same angle, and you've got the same exact rule, all right, that the X has over here in two-man snag. Set your angle, okay? You cannot, you got to wait for the sand to cross my face or I cross his, and I sit in the hole and give the quarterback his eyes, my eyes, okay? Tight end, all right? You need to release and get within two yards of that hash, right? Or the Y. You've got to push this thing to 15 yards, just like you did on Seattle, right? And now you're going to speed cut this to the outside. Okay, so there's the three-man side. Okay, now, the guy we have to control, all right, is the Mike Backer. Obviously, that's to the field. The back's going that way. He's got a tendency to go that way. So the back side of Chevron, or three-man snag, is either going to be bend or dagger. Okay, this is game plan. What I want on the back side by what coverage is what we're seeing. If we're seeing a cover 18, we want to run bend. Okay, bend. A bend route through 10 yards. All right, by F. So you've got to beat this quarter safety into the middle of the field right here, right over the ball, okay? X, you're three steps up and you're called a replace route. Three steps up, you get to his release stem and you sit. If there's a wheel backer sitting on you, you pull him away, okay? So we're trying to open the window for Mike, we're trying to pry open the Mike and Will so we can throw this bend route to him, right there. Okay, so that's bend. Dagger is exactly the same. We're for a cover two teams, except now you run a five yard sit and grab and pull out. In X, you run the bend. Okay, so it's just two different looks you can give the defense back here on the back side of three man snag. Now, don't get me wrong, you can run double slant back here. You can run slant flat. You can tag whatever you want on the back side, just knowing that that's where you're going when Mike Backer clamps down on the snag route. Okay? So when Mike starts really running to that snag route, what do I like to throw on the back side? Okay, double slant's a good place to start. I mean, we're more here, but double slant's good. Okay? Now, play side quarterback. You read this just like you read, all right? Two man snag, except now we've got to add the high low off the corner to it. So as I come back, it's one, two, three. If I has I have I out leveraged? Does the Sam stay inside? Just like I read the will over here? Yes. All right. Now, if that's happened, all right, now I hitch, okay, and I'm gonna throw the swing to the sail route off the corner. If he's deep, I should be throwing it back. If he rolls up, I guess cover two, I should be throwing the corner out, the sail out. Okay? If the Sam backer runs past this guy, okay? So as you read, you're looking right at the Sam. If he runs past it, just like on two man snag, which told you to throw the snag route over here, it tells you to throw the snag route here also. Now throw the snag. Okay? As you start to feel quarterback, because it all happens pretty quick, because he's gone. Sam starts to widen. You're one, two, three. This is, this is to the field always a one, two, quick three and a hitch throw, okay? And you start to feel the mics getting to that, all right? Then your eyes go right back in here to the bend of the dig or the dagger. So basically, your progression is the same, all right? It's one, okay? It's one to two, all right? And then it's two to three or two to three, depending on the Mike Backer, right? So it's really pretty simple for your quarterback. 
All right, he sees split safeties. He's just trying to throw the snag and the swing off the sand. If the sand takes it away, high low it. If the sand doesn't take it away, work snag the backside dagger off the mic. All right, so that's three man. Now, same thing, you can build this any way you want. I can build this out of blue and green, blue. Okay, now this has got to be my free release, the F. Because I'm throwing the three man over here. Right, so there's my three man. Backside, well shoot, this is going to be dagger. Back, you check to the flat. Okay, same concept. All right, if I wanted to run slant on the backside, I could tag slant, check swing. All right, because now I'm working off the mic backer. Okay, if I wanted to tag chevron, or a three-man snag and throw Linda on the backside, I can throw Linda on the backside. Okay? Quarterback, you read it just like like three-man snag. If it's hot, if he's open, throw it hot. If if Sam runs and you've got that, throw it. Okay? If Mike shows up, come back and throw the screen. Okay? So what I want what, what we want in this offense is we want a bunch of parts, okay, that that there's a lot of that, that things are common. All right, and it's and, and we just kind of, we just want to kind of build things. All right, well I got Chev I got three man snag. Let's put three man snag over here and, and put and put laser on this side. Bang bang. All right, put laser on that side. Okay, and go ahead and read that. If you don't have it, come back and throw the laser. All right, or let's let's put Exxon on this side. Let's put Exxon over here. Okay, and now let's put the rocket screen to this side. All right, let's just throw, throw three-man snag. So, you know, what's good is then as you build your game plan, that's kind of what you're doing. Maybe you've been throwing a lot of chevron with dagger on the backside, so week four, you're gonna throw chevron and start tagging snags because what a defense is gonna do is they're gonna look at your tendencies. That's how defensive guys are. All right, they're gonna say, man, they, they, they throw this route all the time on third and six. Okay, so they're gonna start fitting this route all right, well, let's call it and call screen to it. If they don't cover it, throw it. If they do, let's come back and throw the screen. Okay, so it's not a lot of concepts. It's not a lot of different formations, a little motion here and there. Okay, but it's the ability to take all the different concepts and the runs and the screens and all that and kind of, kind of build yourself a game plan. You know, fit the pieces of the puzzle together. All right, and then that, that's what changes week to week. I'm not, I don't want to not stop running my base runs, all right, because the defense knows what's going on.